it's Tony from Little Dot Doodle. In today's video, I am going to share a stationery haul from our favorite store over in Portland, Oblation Papers and Press. Uh, at the end of the video, I am going to show you the surprise purchase that was included with our haul, Unexpected. Um, but first, just a few little things that we picked up. Um, I love collecting little items for um, all of my different journals and I have picked up some of these um, little cat stickers. They're so weird um, and I just absolutely adore them. They're just so charming and and kind of odd um but i just i love this brand and i haven't found it anywhere other than oblation so anytime i go over there um, i always love to see what new little cat stickers they have um, like I showed you in another video, um, Oblation makes these little cards with different prints on them and I really like to collect them and put them in my journal. It's, it's handmade paper um, and they do little seasonal prints. Um, so I picked these two up and I will find a spot in one of my journals to uh, post those and maybe do some doodling. Uh, I grabbed two black wing pencils. I love these pencils um, and I actually I have a box of one of the prints and um, getting a little bit low on that. So um, I like to just grab, they come out with different collaborations, different tributes and styles. And so I always enjoy having a few of those around. And my little sharpener that I have uh, that I showed, I think in another video, it's, it's just kind of old and um, needs to be retired. So I saw that they had a black wing sharpener. And so I was able to grab that. And let's see, it looks like you sharpen it and maybe pop it open here. I don't know, I'll figure it out, but it's just a pencil sharpener, it's not that exciting. The next thing that I picked up, um, my husband actually pointed this out to me and was like, oh, Tony, you need this. And so once I saw it, it was like, well, yeah, of course I need it. Um, it's a little Hobonichi um, A6 notebook that has little cats on it. And uh, this is the same brand that did the Cats on Toast cover, um, which I haven't found a use for it yet but I am going to. So I love the little quirky characters that Hobonichi comes out with in some of their products. Uh, it has a shiny kind of hard cover and it is grid paper. Uh, this will be Tomoe River. Uh, the grid starts at red and then it's blue and then the back is kind of a, a yellow. Um, so this notebook will just be used for something um, fun. And because I got a new notebook, I had to get a new pencil board for that notebook. And these alpacas were, again, just kind of whimsical and quirky. And so I snagged this pencil board for my new notebook. They also came out with some new, there's Hobonichi Spring line, and I actually don't have a pencil board for my A5 journals. I normally just use a piece of uh, cardstock, but I saw this and I thought it was not only pretty, but little quirky mice coming out of the flowers. And so I snagged this to use in my bullet journal, which I just thought, I love the colors and I just thought it was springy and fun and this little random mouse just <laughs> jumping in the air. It was so cute. Uh, so another thing we picked up, which will be kind of fun, and I didn't plan on getting anything like this, but Waringal uh, just came out with a color swatch book for inks. And while I have an ink journal that I like to uh, just do my own designs in. Um, I thought this was kind of fun. It has stamped ink bottles and then a couple lines to write the ink and 
do a little scribble or something. Uh, so I think because my other ink journal is organized by color, I might ink this up organized by brand. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I felt like it was a fun addition to our notebooks. A little different than how I normally do things, but I would give it a try and see how this paper holds up. It, let's see, it doesn't say what kind of paper it is. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's not Tamoe River, obviously. We also, from Waringal, picked up two new inks, I Am A Cat and The Secret Garden. Um, these are our very first Waringal inks. And I have a little sample of one um, that I didn't end up buying a whole bottle because it was just too thin. Um, or I'm sorry, it was too light. But this is kind of a grayish blue with a gold shimmer. And the sample that we saw in the booklet um, at Oblation, it looks like a super pretty color. And my husband has a pen that he's been looking for a blue with gold shimmer. And so we think that this is going to be a perfect match. The next one is The Secret Garden. And it is a green ink with a coppery gold looking shimmer in the bottle i mean look at how much shimmer that has in the bottle the shimmer looks real copper but in the sample that we looked at um, in the booklet over at oblation the um, shimmer looked more gold so i'm i'm hoping um, because that's what i was going for and it comes with this little card that has a swatch and see even their swatch the the sparkle looks copper um, but i'm gonna see how it ends up um, on my paper and then on the back <laughs> it instructs us to not eat or drink the ink so i just thought that was kind of a uh, funny like really i have to tell people not to eat or drink fountain pen ink but that's where we are so finally this is the most exciting thing that we got yesterday. Oblation has a little section of fountain pens called their Nearly New Pens, and it's where they allow people who are regulars or that they know or trust to um, put up for sale their used pens. And rarely you get one that is like, wow, this is this is the pen I have to have and that happened to me I did not go to oblation yesterday planning to buy a pen but here we are so I picked up a sailor which my pen spotlight is also going to be a sailor and this was a pen that was released in December of last year or November sailor does like a yearly uh, release right before the holidays uh, like I think it's like two pens I, I know last year it was two pens the year before it was two pens and they're the, the color combinations that Sailor comes up with is just kind of fun and sometimes weird um, I'll show you last year so for 2022 they came out with a couple of pens and one was called Christmas pudding and I had to have this pen. It's so, it's just a weird combination. So it's a light brown on the handle. It's a dark brown base. And then the cap is this gold sparkly color. And my husband bought this for me for Christmas that year. And it absolutely is one of my favorite pens. I just love the combination. So when last year's pens came out, I just passed on purchasing them. They they weren't like they didn't just light me up. Um, but when I saw that this was in the nearly new pen section at Oblation and it was very reasonably priced, I just went ahead and went for it. So this is the Moroccan green tea color combination. It has a clear barrel that is kind of a yellowish brown. It has a white cap 
but wait for it. And it's got this beautiful green grip. And it's just a fun pen. And so when I was looking at the inks first and I saw that secret garden that was green and gold, I thought, oh, well, I think it's just meant to be. So sailors have, uh, this is a, a Pro Gear Slim and it has a 14 karat gold nib. This is in medium. And so I just felt like it was kind of meant to be. So I'm gonna have fun inking that up with the uh, Waring Goal Secret Garden and giving that a little spin later today. And then for today's pen spotlight, I am going to share a Sailor Pro Gear. This was my first Sailor and I actually picked this one up about two years ago at Oblation in their nearly new uh, collection. So again, it was kind of a like a surprise that they had a, a sailor. I don't think the sailors probably last very long over there. Um, this is the Violet Fizz color. Um, it has a dark purple finial on the bottom and a white finial at the top. It has um, silver accents and the purples on the cap and the the body are a little different. I don't know if it shows up uh, well in, in camera. And then the grip section is the same color as the barrel. Uh, the Pro Gears have 21 karat nibs, and this is in a medium. Um, it's stamped medium. That's where Sailor stamps theirs. Um, to tell you, and the nib is so cool. I don't know if it super shows up. Oh, I've got ink all over my hands. Um, but this was my first sailor and so i thought it would be fun to share that it has a lovely bouncy nib i really enjoy writing with this pen um, so this is my sailor pro gear in medium it's violet is and I have this inked up. I don't have the ink bottle with me. Um, it's buried somewhere in my ink closet, and so I don't I don't have it. But it is. Um, oh, let's see, diamine. lilac shimmer, which is kind of a lighter purple, um, and. It's really nice. It has a nice silver shimmer to it. Oh, a little bit of a hard start when I press on the nib there. Um, but mm, I have found that sailors are pretty reliable. Um, I haven't written with this one for a, a little while and, and it just picked right up and was good to go. So I do enjoy sailors and the medium nib handles the violet fizz um, really well. So that's our pen spotlight for today. So anyway, um, so that was our exciting stationary haul for the weekend. And I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.